Well, uh, this is the first meeting, you know, and we are here because the National Assembly members called us. You could remember on Monday the 8th, you know, we were here, the same place, you know, to submit a petition. So they've gone through it and then as a team, and uh, they believe it is important for them to also, you know, hear it from the horse's mouth. So this is why we came here today to know, you know, what are their concerns as far as our petition is concerned. And that is exactly that we've discussed there. They have, you know, shared their concern as far as our petitions are concerned. And then we also share our position. And our position, I believe it is clear because it's a public document that we want a withdrawal of the National Assembly members' salaries and pension bill, as well as the judiciary officers' you know, remunerations and then other entitlement bills. So this is what we came here to emphasize. But they also have some you know, uh, enlightenment, you know, sort of, that they say they wanted us to understand because they believe there is a communication gap and uh, we've you know, missed some things you know, according to them. But yeah, that's exactly what we've discussed here. Okay, how did the negotiations go? Um, have you had anything discussed and have you had anything tangible uh, as far as outcome is concerned? Well, for now, you know, as we are people power movement, we believe in the people that are behind us. So we have no consensus with the members of National Assembly. You know, the National Assembly is even led by the Deputy Speaker, you know, Honorable Sidin Jai, and the Majority Speaker and other political parties, you know, representative. So, you know, in a short, you know, the whole National Assembly is represented there, as well as our committee members here. So we do not have any agreement, any consensus with the National Assembly members as of now. So it seems that um, from the outcome of your meeting, you are not you are not happy with the meeting. Could you give us a gist of some of the things that you um, made, that you discussed during the meeting? Yes, uh, maybe you know you might say we are not happy with uh, because when we went there, you know, as I said, they also have concerns to raise. You know, where they believe that uh, they do not you know intend to increase their salaries or as well as uh, you know it is only about the gratitude and that is if an individual died that is exactly where their positions are and then we believe we've read and understand this and we know you know what is embedded in those you know bills so we thought they are not you know trying to tell us exactly what we wanted to hear from them and this is why we are here to also share you know shed light as to what we discuss with the media, because it's important for us to, to see whatever step that we are doing with them, you know, to the media. No consensus yet. Are you hopeful or are you, have you scheduled another meeting with them? No consensus yet. You know, we have also not scheduled any meeting with them as of now. You know, we left the meeting uh, without a resolution and we are not going to, because we promised ourselves that we are not going to have any resolution passed with the members that will come from the National Assembly. Anything that we are doing will be determined, especially our next moves will be determined by the, pu the public, the general public that are behind us. We have our, our basis, that is our WhatsApp platform, as well as the social media handles. You know, and thank you that you media is here, you know, so that you will share this and then they will also give their view as to what we discuss there and then we will take it from there because it is through them we will make our demands we will make our next steps now, if you if you were to grade your discussions how would you grade it because uh, from the looks of things coming out here you 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 had to orient one another as to what to discuss give us a grading on your discussion out there and you know what it will yield at the end of the day Yes, uh, because uh, members of parliament also comes with their position and we also have our position. And our position is to defend our petition. Their position is also to defend you know, the bills. But what they said is that you know, those bills are not placed in the National Assembly as of now. Most especially the judicial officers' remuneration and other entitlement. And that bill is not placed by them. The bill comes through the, the, the executive, that is through the minister. And it cannot be withdrawn by them. So, but our position was let them have a discussion with the minister because I believe minister is also a citizen and he is fully aware of what is happening in the country right now. That is the protest against this bill. So let them have a tete-a-tete -tete with the minister as they have a tete-a-tete -tete with us to inform the minister about our position that we said let him withdraw the, 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 the judicial officer's remuneration bill. So also, you know, we also tell them that uh, they should also withdraw their position that is the National Assembly members, you know, salaries and other, you know, salaries and pensions bill. So that is why we are in this state because we were like, you know, they have already 
consented and then when we come here they are just going to give us their position but it is like they still want us to understand that you know or make some justifications on the bill which we believe you know it is not our motive as of now okay on a final note last monday you were out on the streets and then you came at this very assembly to protest gambians had your voice um today you had a negotiation that's the fourth step mm -hmm. what's going to be your next move so our next move will be determined by you know the members that we have in our social media handles as well as you know those that will you know benefit from the information that you will share whatever is said there we also go through your online we read from the the comment sections you know we also read from or listen to the concerns raised by other gambians via their platforms so we will you know gather those informations that will determine the next move that we will take as as leaders of this protest we are just leaders but together we are in this protest you know with every genuine gambian all citizens are concerned about this bill we are in this together with them are you sure that they are going to withdraw this knowing fully well that they also have um, something on stake well they must know that they are you know representatives of the people so people power you know if people said they do not want this bill to pass they must listen to these bills and in our position paper that we've said that is our petition it was clearly stipulated that you know if they do not adhere to our demands we shall continue to protest and we shall continue to protest if we are denied permit we shall continue to use the media to protest against them because these are individuals that came from various constituencies we shall tell their individuals that or the the, the members of their constituencies that they are not fit for purpose because there's a bill that has segregated our population and then they believe that segregation is what shall continue which we think it is not now many groups came but mm -hmm. at the end of the day they just die a sudden death simply because underneath the executive or those concerned you know, come up with something that will definitely entice them. Mm -hmm. Are we foreseen the same circumstances with, with you knowing fully well most of the time most of you are all young people? Of course not. Uh, the main reason why we've shared the document that was the invitation letter with the media, it's because we want to be transparent as far as this process is concerned. We could have, you know, keep this to ourselves, come here, discuss with them, then, you know, share it with the media as to what we've discussed here. But it wasn't on their notice that we should share that, that with the media, but we deemed it fit that the media should know that they have invited us to, to, to have a dialogue with them in the National Assembly. So we are transparent and then we are committed to leading this protest, you know, in, in any time possible. And I, we believe the citizens are with us and we want to encourage them. We are still resolute on our ground. Let them trust us. Let them have high hopes on our, on our discussions. And we are going to continue giving them the best of answers.